What's up guys, it's Second More here and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make something like this in Photoshop. Let's get right into the video. Okay, so first off, go to the top left and click File. And then click New and you can choose what size you want the picture to be. So I'm going to do 1920 by 1080 doesn't really matter what you choose or what I choose or whatever you choose. But these uh, make sure to keep the same as what I have. So yeah, I'm click OK and we have our little layout here. So now you got to go to file again and then click place. Choose your picture and I'll be right back once I've chosen mine. Okay, so I've chosen this orange and it doesn't matter if the picture is blurry because this is not what's going to be showing up in the final product. Only the uh, poly art is going to be showing up. So the, if it's blurry, it does, not, it does not matter at all. So then after you're done, click on the arrow key, click place. And now you have your picture. So now what you got to do is go to the polygon tool. You might have it like this, but you got to click on it, hold it, and then go to polygon lasso tool. So then you start, so you click somewhere on top, and then you start outlining it. Click to do another point, point, and you, you get the point by now. So I'm going to speed over this part until I finish going around the orange. By the way, it does not have to be perfect. Uh, it's actually okay, a little better if it's not perfect. Um, you don't have to try your best. You can just do a rough sketch because it doesn't matter. Okay, so once you have it outlined, what you gotta do is go to the bottom right and click Add New Layer. Let's right click the Trash button. And the new layer, go to the paint bucket on the left side and fill this with, with whatever you want. So it doesn't matter what color you're filling it in with. So I filled it in with whatever color was there. It was black. So now I'll go to the right side and drag this layer below this layer. And click on the orange picture layer, whatever you're using. Right click on it and click Create Clipping Mask. Then after that, I click it on it again and click rasterize later. You have to do that or it won't work. Okay, once the layer is rasterized, now you can start working. So you go back to the polygon tool or the lasso tool, whatever you want to call it, go to polygon. And now we're going to start making the triangles. So it depends on what you want. If you want more detail, you can make small triangles, or less detail, make big ones. But I'm going to make bigger ones because I want this video to go by fast. So yeah. So first, you gotta just make a triangle, one side, two sides, and on the third side, you can double click to finish a triangle off, and it just finishes it for you. And you go to filter on the top, and then you click blur, and you go to average. And that's like that now, so that's the first triangle. Now I'm gonna show you a little trick. The next triangle, you can just, um, I guess I'll make it like this way, and double click, and this time you can do control F, Control F to do your last, um, the last thing you did, and then do Control T D to dis uh, deselect. Control D, not deselect it. So you can keep on doing that. And I'm gonna speed over this until I'm done. Okay, so that's it guys, and uh, I hope you like this little orange. I really sped it up because Bandicam only allows me to record for 10 minutes, and I know it's really sloppy work, but if you actually try hard on these, they will look amazing, and I know this doesn't look too good, but you know, I had to rush to record it in under 10 minutes, so yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. One more thing guys, I forgot to tell you that uh, this picture will be linked down below if you want to download it. Bye.